In a world where fruit and vegetable products can travel thousands of kilometers away from where they are harvested, it can be difficult to ensure optimum quality and freshness in all phases, from field to table. Blueberries in particular are a very sensitive product and require careful control, especially around cooling. As such, meticulous planning and best practices must be adhered to, especially post-harvest management and cold chain in particular. Cold chain is fundamental for many different reasons. The first one is that we need to stabilize the product uh, to enable as much shelf life as possible. Whether that is product that we are importing, whether that is product that we are exporting, or we're talking about long-term storage for crops like potatoes or, or carrots or onions. But cold chain is fundamental as well uh, to reduce the losses. Without cold chain, up to 40% of what is harvested gets lost. So every component is monitored. We monitor the electromechanics of the cooling, the energy consumptions of each load, the conditions of the products and of each one of the rooms. And this has allow us to maximize the uptime, to provide support with Alistair uh, with, uh, with services and after sales, as well as uh, to support the improvement of the process of cooling. This is the case of Loweta Investments, an export agribusiness located about 40 kilometers outside Harare that started venturing into blueberry export with great success in 2019. As the first-time growers of Costa Genetics in Zimbabwe, they are exporting to markets in Europe and the Far East. Lueta Investments started with 20 hectares of production and by 2021, they have expanded to 40 hectares. We started uh, in, uh, in the first phase uh, with a 240 square meter pack house. That was uh, enough to cater for around about uh, 300 tons of uh, blueberries. And uh, we've now progressed uh, from that and added another 340 square meters, added pre-cooling units, uh, up the ante in so far as uh, the specs are concerned. And now we're sitting at close on uh, 600, just over 600 square meters of, uh, of pack shed space. And uh, the vision there is to be able to accommodate, uh, yeah, between 700 and 800 uh, tons of uh, blueberries which we hope to get uh, next year. Um, this year we're probably going to end up at around about 450, 500 and uh, when the expansion comes in uh, to production that'll get us up to close to that 800 with the vision probably get to go to uh, 1,000 tons in, uh, in uh, 2025. The bottom line is, is that this is uh, the most important part of the whole process because you need to get berries to the market in prime condition. You don't do that and you're going to pay the price insofar as rejections are concerned, uh, downgrades. So it's hugely important that we get this uh, process right. From the pre-coolers, getting them down to the right temperature, into the holding room and uh, obviously into the pack shed. But this is the new innovation that, uh, that has really uh, been a game changer for us. Moving forward, we're probably going to want to load our own reefers to go straight to port for our sea freight uh, containers. And one of the tools that is provided to me for this is the app that I can access both on my phone and on my laptop. And I can monitor every single part of the pack shed from the pre-coolers into the maintenance room, into the pack shed itself and into the storage room. Grid instability, retailers certifications, post-harvest uptime and quality are some of the challenges Inspiro Farms Cooling has already solved for its customers, increasing shelf life and revenues while reducing OPEX. If you are looking to build cold chain assets with the best cooling treatment for your fresh produce, don't hesitate to contact Inspiro Farms Cooling.